Hello traders, FS Piccoletti here. Today is Monday, July 17th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the Aussie dollar monthly, I still think this is three ways up for a W. It looks like three ways down for an X. I believe that we're now going to make three ways up for a wave Y, which will most likely take out these highs and end up looking something like that. Probably go all the way up to one of these higher Fibonacci levels. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, I think that this first move up probably is a trend. It's probably a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like a wave A of Y. This is three waves down for a wave B of wave Y. I think that this is going to continue over the next weeks and months to keep on trending up to make a nice uptrend for a wave C of wave Y to form that pattern just like I was showing on the monthly time frame. So let's take it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, very strong move to the upside right here. I think this is the end of a Kretzen right here, probably the end of a wave two. And I think that this is like a one, this is an ABC of two, and this is now going up for a wave three, which like I said, over the coming weeks, I believe will continue to make higher lows, higher lows, and just keep on trending up for that big wave three. So let's take a look at that on the four hour time frame. On the four hour time frame, very strong move to the downside, but I think that this move down is a Kretzen. I would expect to see three ways down and then impulsive up for the continuation of the uptrend. I do think that this move down is just a Kretzen to this last wave up. So let's take it right down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, this move down definitely looks a lot like a trend, but I do see the way it could be a wave A over here. I definitely do see three waves up over here. I think there's a good chance this move down could be a wave C already. If this really is a wave C when we go up and break Strutzer to the upside with a big engulfing impulsive move to the upside, that's probably going to be the end of a Kretzen and probably will be the continuation of the uptrend. So if I do see a nice big impulsive engulfing move to the upside, especially if it does take out Strutzer from this move down, the wave C, then I definitely will take it as a long opportunity to see if it is the continuation of the uptrend or whether it actually ends up being like a wave B and then it goes down again for a C and then ends up continuing the uptrend. Either scenario, I think that the trend is definitely up, whether it actually goes up and makes a wave B and then C, or whether this is already going to be the end of a Kretzen right here and it just keeps on trending up, I guess is where we're just going to have to wait and find out. But either way, like I said, if it makes impulsive and golfing up, I will take it as a long and then I'll learn whether it makes a wave B or I'll learn whether it just keeps on trending up from there. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.